It was dark, extremely dark and quiet. It was punishment apparently, but Coraline didn't know why. She thought she couldn't see anything. She remembered her wish to stay with the other mother forever, but it seemed to float away. There was no thought. She could only grasp, only that it was dark and cold. Coraline could not feel her fingers as she rubbed them together. She tried again to remember, but it didn't come. Even when her thoughts turned to her real mother, it seemed to turn to sand fading quickly before her eyes. The promise of gifts and love faded quickly from her mind, while her growing fear seemed to quickly wash away following by the soft laugh. Her real mother, she missed it, the warmth of her real mother, and uh, quickly as it passed, it disappeared leaving her with a hollow, confused feeling. When she couldn't summon the memories, everything seemed to be dark. And she tried to bite her lips, but couldn't feel it. She... she saw her mother calling her in another image, but her voice seemed to be silent, and it was gone, like the other images. She would have been shivering, but she couldn't feel it. She clawed for her memories, Clawed for the love that the memories gave her, but to no avail, all slipped wet from her grasp, and she couldn't, could not help but imagine hugging herself. She could not help but imagine hugging herself, while she heard, heard a resound chuckle in the darkness. She saw blue hair flowing, but it disappeared, leaving black. There was no image. She could, f she felt only hollowness, a sense of fear and pain. She was scared, but somehow her heart would not allow her to show it. But she didn't know why, alone and in the dark, she only remembered the memory of buttons, a pair of buttons, and a doll and a name, Beldam. She couldn't feel anything, simply her thoughts, lingering thoughts of ghost images that she imagined of a certain warmth when an older woman embraced her. It was strange she never did remember the older woman. Who was she? She didn't even remember who herself was. All she knew was the name Beldam, which seemed to imprint herself in her mind as she felt colder. She could hear herself whimpering but it seemed to echo and no one was answering. She cried for something, someone, but no one answered. All she heard was a soft laughter. Before she was suddenly felt, she suddenly felt a strange sensation. Her thoughts seemed to turn colder, emptier, until a final thought, which, as quickly as she thought of it, disappeared. Where's mommy? It's so cold here. 